Today, we're out in Cosby, Tennessee. We're gonna take you on a beautiful fall drive because the leaves are really peaking right now. It's the end of October, we're near Halloween, but we're not really worried about that. We're worried about making a pilgrimage that we do every year. It's a family tradition. And so we are out here in Cosby at Carver's Orchard, an Apple House restaurant. We hope you'll come along and then join us on the Foothills Parkway as well. We're gonna show you some beautiful fall colors. Before we get to Carver's, we thought we'd take you on a little bit of the 35 minute ride over there because right now the colors and the views are absolutely gorgeous on the ride. So enjoy a few of the sights and scenes that we enjoyed on the way to Carver's Apple Orchard. Right now we are traveling down Jones Cove Road or 339 which leads from Sevierville to Cosby, Tennessee. Carver's Orchard is located at 3460 Cosby Highway in Cosby, Tennessee, and as you can see here, it is literally nestled in the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountain. beautiful view out the window. We always look forward to getting a table by the window at Carver's. Indeed. Alright love, so we're starting off because first of all, I want to go ahead and state that if you come to Carver's and you leave without trying apple fritters, it should be a crime. It's criminal because homemade apple butter, homemade apple fritters, and man are they good. A beautiful, beautiful inside. Yes. Apple fritter. That gets dunked in the apple butter. Dunk that fritter, boy. Yeah. Dunk it more. That's I not do. enough. My mom would say that's not enough for a mouse, but. I don't even know what that means, but here we go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Is it well, like you remember? Every time. Every time. It just um, it just brings back memories. So the number one thing to order at Carver's is the fritters. Rule number one for Carver's. I decided to get a side salad with my meal with the farm fresh tomato there and Thousand Island dressing, onion and cheese. And of course they do it the good old southern way with the saltine crackers to crumble on top. And I always start out with the Carver's homemade vegetable soup just good vegetable soup that's all there is to it well honey you started without us you couldn't wait Sorry. to get into it huh it's just good I always get vegetable soup when I come it's rich and hearty got that good tomato based flavor good chunks of vegetables in there it's a very filling and warm soup and Carver's always brings you dinner rolls and delicious corn muffins and for me I also got a special of the day uh, I got the fresh roast turkey and the dressing fried apples mashed potatoes and of course it comes with cranberry because no turkey meal is complete without cranberry and the specials today were $14 and they do include a drink as well as dessert. My love, you're peppering that meal. You're peppering it with flavor, but you don't need it. You're spicy enough. You're darn right. <laughs> yes. So, you're about to take a bite of that, right? I am having Thanksgiving early. Yes. Um, I actually never turn down a good turkey dinner. <laughs> and I know Carver's does it right, so... Hang on. I just thought of something. Yes. Hey, hey. It's coming your way. It's the special of the day. Oh, my goodness, guys. <laughs> All right. So I'm grabbing turkey and dressing together. Yes. And it looks like it's a good old cornbread dressing. It is. It is. Now, where I come from, we call it stuffing. Stuffing, yes. Thank you so much. But we are got a special delivery right now. Since we're in the south, <laughs> I'm calling you. it what they call it, which is dressing. So. It is dressing. Matter of fact, what does that say up there? Turkey and dressing. dressing. That's right. <laughs> you know that's right. The turkey is tender. It yes. has great flavor. It's moist. It's not dry. And the dressing is, is flavored really nice. It's got a lot of sage in there. So if you like sage, you would like that. So let me try these taters. Good homemade Good nice taters. taters. And they are good homemade taters. Yes. And I need to know and you need to comment. Is a turkey dinner complete with the cranberry or without? I am a it's gotta have it kind of without. <laughs> We're on different teams. We're on opposite sides. Cranberry. So right. and then I like the, um, the sweet apples. They complement the turkey and the dressing so nice. And of course, you can't come to the apple orchard and not have fried apples. So. They're yummy. They're a little tart, a little sweet, great flavor, delicious. One of my favorite kind of meals throughout the whole year. So I'm a happy girl. Well, that's because they're like you. A little tart and a little sweet. I'm spicy. Spicy. Did somebody say special of the day? Well, yes, they did. So I'm going to go with the country ham, green beans, homemade pinto beans. Starting off with the sides, got to start off with the good old homemade green beans. This is just country cooking like your mama used to make. Or maybe still makes. Soup beans, pinto beans, always good. You forgot your cornbread. Well, yeah, I did. But, and good old center cut country ham. Why am I having country?
country ham, you say? Because I'm not salty enough. Oh, but you are. <laughs> yes. Country ham, it's so simple, but so southern and so good. Gotta have cornbread with those beans. Now you're doing it right. Now we're doing it right. So we got the special, which came with dessert, and today it's homemade nanner pudding. And that ain't no pudding. That's made the old-fashioned way with the custard. Yes. All right, love, so you're trying nanner pudding. Nanner pudding, that's the correct way to say it. You're gonna be a nanner soon. I'm gonna be a nanner soon. <laughs> so it's appropriate that you try nanner pudding. Yeah, that's definitely not pudding, that's custard. That's the old way that, yes. they, that it's done. It is nannery. It is? I don't think banana e is a word, so I'll say nannery. Nannery, I like Very it. Very nannery. And the uh, wafers are like cake because they've absorbed all that flavor. Yes. It's yummy. Okay. You're twirling it? I'm twirling it. Okay, all right. Now that we done filled our bellies with some of that good old down home southern cooking, it's time to go look around the apple house. Hey, babe. So we're on a field trip. I think we need to bring something home from our field trip for the country pluckers and have them carve it for us. Yes. Maybe more than one. We'll get they them. would carve we'll it. We'll get them two. And they can, get them two? They can carve their own little designs. Okay. There's one. Yes. And let's find a nice size one because we got big pluckers. I see one over here. How about this one? That's kind of lopsided. Okay. It has to sit up straight. I'm kind of lopsided, so it's okay. See? Look how perfect those pumpkins are. Yep. Babe? Yes? You're a little nuts. You're a little nuts. Look at that. I'm feeling very nutty today. That's a lot of nuts. <laughs> Four dollars a pound for walnuts and uh, pecans. That's not a bad price at all. Like, gentlemen, what are you conversing about? The structure. Oh. Of how this is built. Have you got an actual tree? There is, isn't there? There's this host of beans. Yes. So. I thought perhaps you were conversing of the wonders of jelly. And salsa. And salsa. Many things to buy. Salsa, jelly. Emily's got the cheese and sausage. See this? I think you're out of your gourd. No, 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 I'm not out of my gourd yet, but watch this. Are you ready? Do you know how you can tell if it's good or not? What's this? It's good! Field goal. Touchdown. No, field goal. Oh. Field goal is up. <laughs> Y'all, he really is out and of it's his good. board. He's out of his board. Yes. And there's where the magic there. happens, yeah. where the yes. apples come in and they tumble them down into these big crates. Are you needing some ham or are you just the big ham? You need some fat back? I'm bringing fat back. <laughs> so when you don't want to be so sweet, sugar free, jellies and jam. And apples as far as the eye can see. Hey look, it's my old friend Granny Smith. What's the easiest apple to get a sunburn? I have no idea. Why well, pink lady of course. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So this is a very helpful chart that they have up in Carver's Apple Orchard and it lists all the different kinds of apples and when they're ripe and ready. So October, you've got your salmon wine sap, red wine sap, black wine sap, Empire Macintosh, King Luscious, Mountain York, 
Firm Gold, Granny Smith, Arkansas Black, Fuji, Rayburn, and the Peace Lady. So while our hair may be a little silver, no. You have your own apple, sir. It's a John of Gold. <laughs> Apples juicy, apples round, on the tree or on the ground. Apples tart, apples sweet, apples are so good to eat. So, if you're looking for a rich, tasty apple, get yourself some golden delicious. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. Well, there you go. I mean, it is a once a year trip for us. So, when in Rome. cries the most? A wine set. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> we got him. What you got? Oh, you got honey. Honey and a jug of black blackberry spider. juice. I'm talking about that. And of course, when you come to Hawk Carver's, you've got to get fried apple pies. And so you come on into this little cafe and see what they've got you can also get ice cream here as well as whole pies but inside here are fresh made fried pies I wish there was smell vision I love these handmade bird houses that they have here. Be still and know, Psalm 610. Let the adventure begin. Shout out to our friends Ryan and Bree from Adventures Out There. Happy fall, y'all. Enter at your own risk. Falling for fall. So cute. And there's a separate building for old-fashioned candies. And we're going to show you what's in there in just a second. <laughs> Look at the delicious caramel apples, marshmallow pops chocolate covered potato chips and assorted nut brittles. So this brings back a lot of memories for me. My dad used to love these candies and they're made in South Bend, Indiana, which I'm an Indiana girl. He would get like anise and he'd get sassafras. Yeah, dad loved these hard candies. My mom all love the whorehound. The whorehound. Those are a blast from the past, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I could always count on my grandma to have a bit of honey in the house, as well as Mary Jane's. And I still like them today. And of course we've got your old Smoky Mountain Taffy. And they've also got Sugar Free. Y'all, I found Cheerwine Zero. Man, that is like finding a needle in a haystack. Not Holy even grill. Gosh, it's Dolly Pops. What's your favorite feature on the Dolly Pops? What's your favorite feature on the Dolly Pops? <laughs> the hair. It's definitely the hair. Really? No, wait. Did he just say the hair? He just said the hair. John, don't be a boo. <laughs> Good. Good to see you. Look at all the wonderful house-made chocolates. 
So, who do we have here? We when have, I say... We have Aunt Alma Lou. And we have Uncle Wayne. I've never met Uncle Wayne. And my cousin Robin is back here somewhere. So... Family business. Family. When I say it's a family tradition, I really mean that, right? Now, here's the thing. They've known me since I was knee-high to a grasshopper, ain't you? Ever since you've been living. Look at that, ever since I've been living. That's how we say it around here. Another October visit to Carver's has come and gone. And we've enjoyed our time here, as we always do. We always enjoy the food. It's just always so good. And we always enjoy shopping around and looking for apples and different things. And, of course, we love the candy store. It's always good to see my family. And, you know, it is just a great place for us. It's We've made a lot of memories there as a family. And I've got a lot of memories as a child going there. So it always makes me think of my granny this time of year. It's just uh, we're looking forward to another October and looking forward to Carver's again. So we hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. And, well, if you're in that area, stop by because I know that they're going to treat you just as friendly as they treat us and everybody else and well we've got something else coming up for you so we want you to stay tuned because next we are really going to show you what god can do with his paintbrush in the fall here in the smokies we hope you stay tuned because we will see you next time for this wonderful fall foliage drive <music>